Alright, don't mind my desk. I know it's a bit messy right now, but you know, this is a polycarbonate TGR Alice. Some people call it the police because it's polycarbonate plus Alice. That's why it's police. Polycarbonate version of the TGR Alice. That's what it is. Now, the way I built this is that I use a brass plate and the tangerines with a 60 gram spring swap. However, today I decided to try out this build right here. And honestly, part of this build right here is sponsored by Shoes, one of my favorite keyboard YouTuber. You guys have to check him out. He's he's just a funny as hell, man. <laughs> this guy is a legend. So shout out to Shoes. If you guys are watching this video right now, go check him out. Link in the description. My boy hit me up with the FR4 plate. It's the new meta right now. And I was like, dude, what the hell is FR4? If you guys are in the scene, you probably know it. Ma, FR4, Arui wa, FR minus <laughs> four. Wow, flame retardant type four. <laughs> FR4 is an NEMA, NEMA, great designation for glass reinforced epoxy, epoxy, laminate material. If I press it hard enough, I feel like this could break. Compared to brass, this is like my finger will break. TGR Alice PCB stabilizer, it is lubed with Crytox 205 Grade Zero. This is the C3 stabilizer. Holy Panda on the spacebar on the Alice is what the designer of this keyboard told me to build it. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about the switch because we got the Amelia right here and Shiro switch. Okay, hear me out, hear me out. Now, obviously they are not Shiro switch because it does not exist. Same goes as Amelia switches. They do not exist. How me and Shoops came up with this name is because we Frankenstein, the Lilacs, and the Lavenders. I decided to just call it Shiro. It's a great name. No game, no life, Shiro. She's a cool girl, smart girl too. 62 gram, untouched, did not spring swap. All the springs, little bit Crytox 105. Housing, Lilacs, Stem, Lavender. That's how we get the Shiro switch. For Emilia, it's just the opposite way. Tangerines, 60 gram spring swap. Brass plate, versus... Wait, this is actually not brass plate. I, yo, I've been high as f yo. This is a copper plate. Dude, the entire time I've been saying it wrong. Holy uh, I'm dumb as f uh, The entire time I've been saying brass plate is actually copper plate. The Emilia switches actually goes along with Shinobu-chan a lot. They're cute. Both, both of them cute. Drop a like. Alright, this is a sound test. Spikes on the screen. Forever. Let's go, let's go. Wait, let me refresh. Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, similar result, 116, 96% accuracy. Still the same low consistency, but this is what it is, this is a 30 second test. So yeah, this is my average speed when I'm typing on Alice layout, you know, hovering around 100 WPM. Actually, in fact, let me just do another 15 second test. Yup, this is, this is, <laughs> this is really my average speed, dude. Hopefully you guys like the sound. That was my daily driver. I've been using it since I built the Alice. This is really my favorite keyboard right here. Today I'm going to change it. I just wish this is better because that's what Shoops told me. So Shoops, if this is not good, I'm going to sue your ass. But still, thanks for the, thanks for the FR4 plate though. Really appreciate it. So this is the PCB. Let me take out the screw. New meta right here. F off the plate. Dude, it really looks so cool. Wow, okay. I really love the way it looks. If you want to make yourself a custom keyboard, that's the fun in it, you know? You do everything by yourself. I feel like that's the beauty of having a custom mechanical keyboard. You can customize everything. I want my spacebar to be tactile, I can do that. I think this is a definition of sexy. The green PCB actually hits different.
First sound test. Let's do it. Ooh. Wait, hold up, hold up. This is crazy, yo. Okay, okay, okay. And let's just try again, but this time I'm gonna close the light with the RGB turn on. All right, so this is how it looks without the light. All right, 112, 97% accuracy. Mm, okay, okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. The typing sound is definitely a bit different. I need to compare the footage though, I need to compare it. And I want you guys to tell me in the comment section which one do you guys like it better? For the FR4 plate though, the FR4 plate is not joking. Obviously a lot of factors can affect the sound as well, not just because of the plate. The housing of the switch are different. Uh, I've been playing a lot of FPS game lately. Really hasn't has much time to play Osu. But Osu is the time where you smash your keyboard. All right, let's be real. You're just gonna spam the hell out of that. Hopefully you guys don't mind the terrible gameplay and just focus on the sound. Why? I hate double tap, I hate double tap. Okay, I'm ready to lose again. Let's go. Like a really good exercise for the eyes, you know. <laughs> like my eyes, my eyeballs are going left and right. <laughs> Like I have no idea what I'm playing right now, but I feel like it's a good exercise for my eyeballs because my eyeballs are just moving around. This is 
not even an aim training anymore. This is an eyeball exercise, yo. You guys have to check out this map. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure to drop a like. This keyboard will still be my daily driver, that's for sure. I've been using it ever since I built it. And with the FR4 plate, the new Shiro switches, I'm in love, man. I'm in love. Let me know what you guys think about it. I don't know. What else? <laughs> have a wonderful day.